So what change is ITLS making that you want to tell us about, Roy? Well, we have added to our recommendations for the management of pre-hospital hemorrhage the use of tranexamic acid. Uh, tranexamic acid is a compound that prevents the breakdown of clots that have formed and it allows the body to better stop internal bleeding. We are very good as pre-hospital providers controlling external hemorrhage, whether direct pressure or the use of tourniquets, but we really haven't had a tool that helps us deal with internal hemorrhage or hemorrhage we can't see. Tranexamic acid is that tool. What's important about us making that change now, Dr. Olson? Well, the use of tranexamic acid has been shown in numerous studies, both in the civilian sector and with some very good research that's come out of the uh, war in Southwest Asia, and it has improved survival. The use of tranexamic acid is associated with a marked decrease in massive transfusions, so that by applying this to civilian EMS, we're going to be able to improve uh, outcomes, reduce the occurrence of hemorrhagic shock before the patient gets to definitive care, and if we can prevent shock as opposed to treat it, we have much better outcomes. How will this be taught in the course? Well, this will be added into the whole sequence that we have for the management of hemorrhage, beginning with looking for that life-threatening, exsanguinating hemorrhage, the use of direct pressure, the addition of, or excuse me, the application of a tourniquet. Uh, and then finally, the use of tranexamic acid as part of the protocol. Our recommendations are that uh, it be given to individuals if it's less than three hours since the major injury, and if they're more than an hour to definitive care. Uh, the three-hour time point is based on studies that show after three hours uh, the outcome is not as good and may even be detrimental. But the literature supports the use of this. And in fact, uh, in the United Kingdom, this is now part of their standard protocol for hemorrhage control. What's the abbreviation that's used? TXA is used to abbreviate tranexamic acid. Uh, so it's fairly uh, easy to remember. Uh, What's the key message you'd like to leave with us? The key message is that we now have an additional tool in our toolbox for the management of severe life-threatening hemorrhage in the multiple trauma patient, and that it is easy to use. It's relatively inexpensive compared to some of the other materials that have been put forward, has virtually no side effects, and has been demonstrated to have a marked improvement in outcome uh, for patients with severe hemorrhage. And uh, We think it ought to be available to EMS providers all over the world as an additional tool to help them take care of their patients. ITLS believes that there is sufficient evidence to support the use of transexamic acid, or TXA, in the management of traumatic hemorrhage, pursuant to system medical control approval. Following initial resuscitation, including control of external bleeding and stabilization of airway, consideration should be given to administration of TXA during early stages of transport.